how do you get viewers and subscribers when you're just starting out or you just start a channel? We're gonna talk about that right now. Hey, what's up, Sean here. Benji. And this is Video Influencers, helping you crush it with YouTube and online video. And questions have been coming in from you guys. We appreciate it so mm -hmm. much. One of these questions yeah. is, how do you get new, uh, subscribers and views when you're literally starting from scratch? Yeah, probably one of the most uh, asked questions uh, from the viewers of this channel. And um, there's a million things you can do. But uh, the number one thing I think you can do, and it goes without saying, great content, yep. okay? Great videos. Um, no more are the days where, you know, hopefully you can get 1080 or, you know, 720 at least, non-HD videos, okay? Yeah. HD is a standard, but even beyond that, make sure the content that you're giving out, whether it's uh, comedy, whether it's cooking, whether it's beauty, it's entertaining, it's uh, informative, educational, um, or it's just, uh, you know, it gives value, something of value, okay? It's gotta be something that people wanna watch and they benefit from. So content is king. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I would totally agree. That is the big question yeah. is, is your content good enough to get views and mm -hmm. subscribers? Yep. Now, if, if you have great content but not good marketing, then maybe no one's seeing it, yep. but usually, Good content is gonna gradually pick up momentum and catch speed because yeah. it's good. And here's the thing though with good content, if your content isn't good enough, yeah. I think we need to be so, so have good self-awareness. Yeah. Like maybe we're still learning. And here's the thing though, is maybe your content isn't good enough yet, don't worry about it. I encourage you, post consistently Definitely. in obscurity to level up your content for popularity. Practice makes perfect and you are gonna build your experience so that when the time comes, when you do get noticed, you hit it hard. So I agree with you, even though I did say content is king and you want high quality, you wanna make sure it's valuable, well, if you aren't used to being in front of the camera, you gotta get there. Yep, and so why not go? You might go 52 weeks, you might go 104 weeks, two years, post yeah. a video a week, those first two years might not be that great. It's education. But after that, all of a sudden, it's like you might have an overnight success. It wasn't overnight. You've yeah. been crushing it, learning, growing your content, and so then you're ready to launch. So that's kind of the first thing. Yeah. And then my second thing as far as um, how to get noticed when you're just starting out is something we talk about a lot, mm -hmm. and that is to rank videos okay and that people should strategically be saying for the channel that i'm on yeah i want to show up on the other side of search yes for uh, my niche so if um i mean it would be hard to rank but if if it is funny animal videos yeah. you want to start ranking some videos for uh funny cat videos now here's the thing you're probably not going to get that term this is what you do if you happen to be making funny cat videos Funny Siamese cat video. Yeah. That title is actually probably still targetable. Yeah. One of your videos for your cooking channel, yeah. lots of your videos rank, Yes. but they rank around terms. Here's one of some of the reasons why they rank. Not just because he's got subscribers, not just because of the quality of the content or anything or uh, of those things, kind of at times because there's nobody else that's even in that niche yet. Exactly. So where is the niche that you can come in and, and be specific enough to rank your videos. What's gonna happen is that when people type in how to make guacamole, and when they type in uh, how to make, and you could even go how to make fresh and organic guacamole, oh, yeah. then you're gonna have a trickle yep. of people discovering exactly. you, answering this question. That's how you're gonna get views and subscribers exactly. when you're just starting out because people are finding you because of ranked videos. And if you're unfamiliar with ranking a video and what that actually means, it means you're putting in tags, you're putting in words in the description, you're creating titles that will get found by the uh, YouTube machine, which is actually called Owl, I believe, or the YouTube machine or the Google machine is searching through all this content, that's how you get ranked. So when we say ranking your videos, basically it's, utilizing best practices to get there. And speaking of best practices, you wanna talk about uh, the resources that we have that they can do that. 
Yep, absolutely. Well, actually, the way I learned to rake videos yeah. was from James Wedmore's course. Okay. And so, uh, if you want a shortcut on how to do that, you could research it online, but I'll just put some details in the YouTube description below. Yep. That uh, literally walked me through. It was an investment. Uh, uh, but I, uh, you know, invested in his course, went through it personally, and now have multiple rake videos in the productivity niche, in gift ideas mm. niche in all kinds of other areas just because I followed his formula. So that is one thing. But Benji, you put down a couple ideas yeah. uh, for uh, how to get viewers and subscribers when just starting out. So what are some of your thoughts? So this is the thing. If you want to have fans, you've got to be a fan. And what I mean by that, in the very beginning, and Judy actually did this as well, you've got to watch other people's videos that have similar content and engage with them. So we don't mean spam, which you can't. There's no rule against it, right? But no one likes to say, hey, love your videos. Come watch mine, please, right? We want you to engage. So go. So if I have a cooking channel, I would go to someone like Laura Vitale, right? And I would comment on her videos. You know, um, genuine comments, right? Yep. So like say she makes a killer nachos recipe. I'll say, dude, I totally used this this weekend. Thank you so much. And constantly do that, right? Good. Try to get on the radar, not just of Laura, or the YouTube uh, uh, YouTuber, but also the viewers of that channel, right? Because right. what happens is, as you start engaging, you'll uh, you'll get higher on the comment list for the top comment uh, analytical way they organize all that. Yep. And I actually saw this technique with somebody recently. So on our vlogs, Ochi Kiron. Uh, she's a Japanese lady that has a cooking channel. She was always commenting. Yeah. Now, funny enough, I was watching her channel before, so I already knew who she was. She was always commenting on everything, right? Genuine stuff, not saying anything about her own channel. But whether it was a tactic or she was just doing it, that's smart because she's always showing up and I know she's able to get new viewers based on that effort. And it's not just YouTube comments. It's on Twitter, it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, Good. engaging. So what I mean by getting fans, by becoming a fan, you're just connecting with the same audience that's watching something you look up to to watch your stuff. And that's totally good. And in fact, that's how Judy did it in the beginning and that's how I suggest anybody to do it. That's awesome. And then of course, one other thing that you wrote down yeah. um, is uh, using other platforms out of YouTube, uh, YouTube. If you're just starting from scratch, you're just trying to get people from anywhere on the internet to where your video is at. Yeah. So if they're on Twitter, if they're on Facebook, the key is this. You always want to add value. You never want to just annoy your friends and family by even posting so much on your personal Facebook page. Because even I've noticed this Facebook engagement doesn't even let it be seen because yeah. it shows that people you know aren't that interested. But you're starting from scratch. You got to hustle everywhere. Yeah. Be involved in blogs. Use all the social media platforms. You are trying to grow, and it, it, it's certainly it is hard to get yeah. it going. But what happens is momentum does happen. Yes, totally. And so in those early days, don't get discouraged. Keep pounding the pavement and hustling. Yep. Stay on the grind because you are trying to build something from scratch. Yep. It's going to be hard. It's going to be discouraging at times. Story. Gary Vaynerchuk did exactly what we're talking about. And he was not even a YouTuber exclusively. Like he had his own videos on his own channel trying to sell wine online. What did he do? He commented on all, on all the wine blogs. If somebody asked about a certain wine or what goes good with what or whatever, I'm not exactly sure exactly what he was answering, but he would answer those questions, right? right? And he would try to be of help. He would give value, right? right? And these aren't even YouTube videos. These are just blogs. Yep. And that's how he was able to gain uh, followers and ultimately, in his case, gain customers yeah. for selling wine and online. Because of massive hustle. And he, did hustle. It, and he didn't just put his link in those posts. He no. just added value right yep. there on the platform. Yep. That's the difference. It's not like, hey, answer the question. And by the way, go to my YouTube channel. By the way, go to see my stuff. It is literally add value right then and there yep. on Laura Vitale's value, uh, videos. You comment on something and maybe you add value. You don't say, come look at me, oh, yeah. come check out my channel. You go, you know that's so, and you add value. That shows that you've got the stuff. You've got content to add and it, people will notice, but it's gonna take persistence. We're yeah. not talking about you, you tweet no. once a week 
you know, like, and no. you, you comment on a YouTube video once. I mean, we're talking about massive hustle investment. Time, Hard work. But it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna pay totally. off if you stay at it. Hey, so thanks so much uh, for checking out this video. Question for you. How many subscribers do you have now? And yeah. what have you noticed with these tips? Have you found things working, not um, working? What's your feedback? Let us know in the yes. comments below. We're ready for it. Like button. Yes. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Visit videoinfluencers.net for a free little, what do you call it, 19 best practices list yeah. to help your channel or your video business grow. Yep, that's there. So get that at videoinfluencers.net. And man, we appreciate you so yes. much. Let's connect on all the social media platforms. Check out show notes in the YouTube description below. Peace. Later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, hey. Oh. The real story oh. of what it's like <laughs> on a set. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 I love that table. Big table. It's uh, like demands entertainment. Family and yeah. entertainment. Small table. You notice that? Sometimes when it's just like a round table, it's just like, you can't that's do. it. Yeah.